Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Karen Whiting and today I'm showing you how I make my uh, soup bowl out of bread so that you can fill that with your soup. And this one happens to be made of barley and white flour. So I'm just making enough for one more. I, you can make this as much as, as, multiply the recipe as much as you want depending on how many little soup bowls you want to make. So I have three quarters of a cup of flour and one quarter of a cup of barley flour because that gives me the entire cup of flour that I need for this. And then I'm going to add in a cup, uh, a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and mix all of this together. After which I will be adding in my yogurt and actually I'll probably mix the yogurt here with honey. So this is two thirds of a cup of yogurt. About a five and a third con a container of yogurt in ounce container. So anyway, it would I guess in ounces be six and a half ounces, but one point one hundred and fifty grams. And then I'm going to add in a half a tablespoon of honey. Mix this up a little bit to get that sweetness stirred in all the way. I'm going to mix it into the flour. It's going to be a very sticky dough, and it's not a dough that I have to need because it's baking powder and not yeast, but it is a dough that I'm going to have to finish up on my board, my uh, countertop, because of how sticky it will be. And that's the only way to really get it to all mix in well. In fact, I still want to get some more of this yogurt off of the spoon. I need all the liquid I can with the dry ingredients here. So once I've mixed this a bit, I'm just going to flour my board a little bit. So use my little flour wand. And then dump out what I have in the bowl here. Because by hand, I can actually mix it better than it's being done. In, with a spoon or my anything I'm going to stir it with my spatula. So I'm going to pull that together to make up my dough because there is enough moisture here to do that. And I don't really have to knead it or roll it out or anything. I just want to gather it all together and make one smooth bowl from it. up some of these outside pieces of the flour crumbs and I'll even take some of this flour add it into the bowl here to get a little bit more of that yogurt on there that might not have come out a little bit more of any of the honey just to add a little more stickiness so it will stick together and that will help pull it together here so once I have this all set up I have a pan that I've already greased I'm going to put it in that pan and I'm going to bake it at 350 degrees for um, 35 minutes, which should be about right. It's about what I did earlier today. And the rest of this flour is just not going to go in here today. Sometimes, depending on the moisture in your air, you sometimes can add more or sometimes can't add as much flour. Right, I'm going to put it in here and then I want to take and just score it at the top in two directions. I might usually use a knife, but right now I have a spoon with me, so that's what I'm using, and it'll be just fine. I went a little deep earlier when I did that, but I'll be baking that up, and then I got some flour on the bottom of the pan. I don't want that in the oven. Okay, I scoop, I, well, I first slice off the top, put that to the side, and then I scoop out the insides and I like to use the grapefruit spoon because it's all a serrated edge here and that helps me scrape everything out of it. After which I can take whatever I want to fill it with. So in this case I made some broccoli cheddar soup and it's nice and warm. And I'm going to put that in. You can see all the green from in there and the color to show that it's got the cheddar cheese in it. So it'll be a, make a really nice hearty little lunch. My son, I'm sure, will gobble that up when we're done <laughs> and have that ready. So it's just a very simple thing, and you just multiply that cup of flour, the, the mix of the barley and white, as many times as you want with a package of the yogurt and your baking powder and salt and honey. 
to mix this up and then you can fill each one with whatever soup you want. So next week or sometime I'll show you how I make my different soups, my, whether I'm doing the broccoli cheddar, broccoli and carrot cheddar, or potato cheddar soup. They're all really good and hearty as the weather turns a little bit cooler and you're ready for your soups. I also like to think about the treasure that's inside and how uh, our hearts get filled and we fill one another's hearts as we talk to one another and share and, and love on each other. So make sure you do that this week. And the other thing that I find is when it's cold and you're inside snuggling up and having a nice bowl of warm soup with warm bread, that it's a great time to really open up in conversation. And so I just want to read Acts uh, 20, 11. When Paul had gone back up and had broken the bread and eaten, he talked with them a long while until daybreak and then left. Because at this point, he's had his bread, he's had a meal, and he's filled and he's ready to talk. And that's what we want. We want to have us gather around the table and talk with one another and open up, share our faith, share what's in our hearts. So do that this week and have a great week as we go into November, the first day of it, and we head towards a week of Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving Day. So thanks for joining me. Remember to check out my website, karenwhiting.com, www.karenwhiting.com, and sign up for my newsletter where you can get some recipes or craft ideas from me and other little tidbits of what's happening. And I thank you.